Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Flats Class YouTube back here in Florida. Louisiana's wrapped up, and yes, uh, Hurricane Adalia has passed. Um, we've been doing cleanup for the last few days, and it seems like things are slowly but surely getting back to normal on the nature coast. Um, but uh, I'm getting back into doing informational videos again. I'm getting ready to actually go on vacation to the Florida Keys, so I've been... I've been getting a lot of stuff ready. But after you've been in Louisiana for like weeks upon weeks upon weeks catching big giant bull redfish, it's kind of hard to get adjusted to catching redfish here in Florida. So I'm back to lighter rods. I'm back to lighter braided lines. And uh, I'm back to snook fishing. Let's face it. I don't want to catch a redfish for a while. I want to catch a snook. So I'll be doing some snook fishing over the next few weeks and even down in the Keys. And I wanted to share with you all a knot that most of you know, but you have difficulty with when you're tying very thin lines to a heavier leader. What's heavier? Well, minimum for snook fishing, in my opinion, is about 40 pounds. So I'm gonna take some Seaguar 40. I'm gonna tie it to some eight pound Power Pro up there. And maybe I'll take you over to my bar and we'll do it at the bar uh, in the back and let you guys see what I'm talking about, how you can take a uni knot and you can literally double the line and make it a nice balanced knot because that's the weakness of that knot when you have a light line with a heavy leader. Let's go. wearing my glasses because it's important to be able to tie a good perfect knot and I know I have made the red Phillips knot and the modified Albright knot very popular with our following because I believe those are cleaner smaller knots for line to leader connections but there has been some demand they're like well you know the, the knot I can tie in the field flawlessly every time is the uni knot and like I said in the intro many times that uni knot is is kind of a bulky knot and it doesn't set itself up right to catch well snook like this when you've got that light line mated with a heavier leader what's a heavier leader 40 50 sometimes 60 pound if you're fishing around cover but because I'm going down to Everglades National Park and we're going to be fishing a lot of the flats and zones that are adjacent to Flamingo itself. We're going to be fishing open water. So probably all I need is 40. So, but I do want to have seven and seven and a half foot rods that I can make a long cast with either eight or 10 pound braid. So to make the knot more balanced so that you don't have this discrepancy between line thicknesses, if you saw that right there. Uh, I will double this, and I'll show you how that works for the uni. So I'm gonna take a link, and I'm gonna double it. So uni knots are very simple. You just lay the two knots across, the two lines across each other in opposite directions. And because I feel like this is gonna be fairly balanced, I'm gonna make a circle here and I'm gonna wrap around my leader line with the double line probably about five times. So one, two, three, four, and five. And then I'm gonna just cinch it all down as you can see me tightening it there. Cinch it all down so it makes a barrel just like so. Okay, it's tight and it looks fairly the right size. Now I'm going to take the tag end of my leader here. I'm going to go around the double line that I've created with the braid. So I'm going to make another circle. I'm going to hold the double braid like this. And I'm going to go inside this one. Probably only going to go four times because this is a stiffer material. 
One, two, it's a very simple knot. Three, I think that's why most of you feel very comfortable with it. And then move it up, slide it together. You can see it slides together almost the same way. Not quite as easy, but it is fluorocarbon. Then I'm gonna take the two lines and I'm gonna pull these knots together. Just like so. So you can see that, how it comes together nice and balanced. Now I'm gonna clip them as tight as I can because this is a 100% knot because you got two very strong pieces of material backing up to each other. So I don't have to leave a long tag. Cut that off and I'm using some very sharp scissors so I can get them real tight. I'm gonna take my double line. I'm gonna cut that off clean. Now I'm a proponent of a much smaller knot, like I said. The Modified Albright, the Red Phillips knot. Those are more, the Alberto knot, those are more the knots that I would tie. But it's hard to argue that this isn't a 100% knot. If you're bait fishing, you know, where you're not constantly casting back and forth through your guide train, this knot probably is not a bad knot. It's very easy to tie in the field. Um, you can definitely tell it's a bulkier knot, but it's 100%. Now I've got 10, and 40 made it together and that's a strong strong knot uh, whether in my case I'd be fishing artificial so I'll probably leave this knot outside my tip top and have maybe a little bit shorter leader length uh, but for all intents and purposes there's nothing wrong with the good old uni knot it, it's just that when you made it up with a much heavier leader you're gonna have to double the size or double that line so that you can still have that little bit bulkier balance knot there and still be able to fish it well. So that is the tip of, uh, of the Labor Day weekend here. And hopefully you guys are out there fishing. And like I said, many of you are probably on the west coast of Florida still cleaning up yard debris and drying stuff out from Hurricane Adalia. But if you get the chance to fish, and you want to try something that works for you or always worked for you in the past but kind of played you with the heavier leaders, try this. If you like what you're learning here on Flats Class YouTube, I encourage you, push that button. I want you guys all to subscribe. The faster that we can reach 50,000 subscribers, the more places I can take you, like down to Everglades National Park next week. So, All right, that's all I've got for you this Labor Day weekend. Until next time, Captain C.A. Richardson signing off. Let me go jump in the pool.